What's up guys, welcome to another Critique the Community. Today we're going to be critiquing underwater or water photography, which should be a uh, quite an experience. If you'd like to be part of the next critique, we're going to be doing it on product photography because David Strauss is going to be going to the same city that Brian Rogers lives in. And we did a tutorial with him called The Hero Shot. He's an incredible product photographer. And so if you would like to be a part of that critique, you can sign up right now in the link in the description. And that next week, they won't have to listen to either of us. That's right, that's so, right. Yay. You know, the last time it was Mike and uh, Aliyah. Yeah. And one of the comments on YouTube was, this was okay, but I really miss Lee. And I, I thought for sure all the comments were gonna be like, thank yeah. God Lee's not there. So I told the guy, email me and I'll give you any tutorial you want for free. Oh, yeah? Just because I like paying people who say nice things about me. And then somebody else responded to that comment and they were like, yeah, I agree too. And that guy emailed me and was like, do I also get a free tutorial? And I went, sure, <laughs> you get a free tutorial too. So I was just giving them away last time. Well, the comment time. I got was that, Patrick, you need to kill yourself. Okay. So that's, no tutorial for that guy. That's more standard. Yeah, that's uh, taking a year off my life. All right, <laughs> so this is the top rated image. Yeah. And before we go to the next image, we need to pick a random winner. Okay, so let's- Two through 20. I'm gonna do three. Three, all right. All right, when we get to three, so you'll get- this is a, the highest rated image. And this one gets a free tutorial. You can figure out uh, what tutorial you want if you win at fstoppers.com slash store. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Four stars, we agree. I feel like this shot's awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's... This has been popping up on the front of F-Stoppers lately. I've seen this image already. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't know that I've even seen it on the front of F-Stoppers, but it's just a well-done image. Good model, incredible lighting under the water. I mean, look at these little rays. What makes you say she's a good model? Because she can swim underwater? Yeah, you know, I just feel like a uh, naturally good swimmer. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, you got the play with the, with the color tones from, you know, the, the warm up above, cool down below. Right. And I would assume this is a fake composite. Yeah. But I think it's done really well. Yeah. Um, Aaron Nace, I don't know if you guys do watch the Flurn channel, but he did a workshop in the Bahamas and did an image similar to this where they shoot uh, like an aquarium to get the water line, and then that allows you to shoot underwater and then shoot above water and you can get this effect, which I believe is, I mean, that's what that looks like they did here, because mm -hmm. they have three images, the bottom, the top, and then the, uh, what would you call that, the meniscus? The water line. The water line. Yeah. It's a more <clears throat> elegant way. Well, the meniscus, it would have to be bulging. But anyway, okay. well done. This is a good shot. Now, I haven't seen any of these shots. I don't think you have either. Where what, do we go from here? Yeah, do you think, do you think these, because we've tried to do underwater photography before and man, it's rough. It is rough. I think, I think it's the hardest single genre that you could possibly do. You have to get great lighting. You have to not float and disturb the wildlife. You have to have an underwater Colors casing. Color's an issue. You depth. lose all color. It just turns blue under the water. So it is not and, easy. And do we know, are all these pictures going to be underwater? That's not technically this theme, right? No, I don't remember. I think it might have just said water. Water, so. Yeah. Underwater. Oh, I said underwater. Oh, it is underwater. I'm being told underwater. I said underwater. So okay. underwater it underwater is. Underwater photography. All right. The community gave this 3.4 stars. I'm surprised they weren't a little more harsh. Are you ready? I'm having a hard time judging this because there's so many very simple things that a great photo needs to have, but because it's underwater, mm -hmm. and I know how difficult it is to get things sharp, <laughs> I wanna rate this higher because I know how technically difficult it is, but we should still adhere to a standard of I what agree. is a great picture. Three, two, one. Ooh, you went solid, I went to here, okay. Here's something that, that will change so many people's mind about underwater photography. And I always ask myself, when I see a photo like this, I always ask, was this taken in a home aquarium? Here we go, <laughs> here we go. And if it was, that loses so much value for you, right? Like, I don't know necessarily, because if it's an interesting subject matter and it's shot well. I just don't think this is that interesting. Like my wife had a pet eel and it looked like this. And so 
And so you have and a ton of images of that pet eel. Probably with a cell phone, but I, you know, I never, I never tried to like take a pro image. But when I look at the lighting on this, I just don't feel like the lighting's that good. It's super harsh. And it's also super directional, which makes me think this was not taken in an aquarium. I think aquarium shots are going to be lit from above usually, especially if you're at like a commercial aquarium. You're just saying maybe they had a, uh, an aquarium at their apartment. In I'm that saying, case, I'm it saying that's be. that's possible. But if they if this was taken in a home aquarium, I do not think there would be hard light coming from above and to the right. Do you think in a normal aquarium you would have an eel that might be this big with like the no the other animal that's what, what would you call this the uh, fish <laughs> not the fish but like it's in a uh, coral no what's the word I'm looking for you know where they they live off each other symbiotic relationship. There's water in there. Oh my gosh. Let's move on. Like, I just. I don't, I do not think this shot was taken in an aquarium. Let me just be clear about that. If this was in a portfolio though of <clears throat> underwater animals, you don't think this would make the cut? I mean, it depends. I, this does not feel like a full-time professional underwater photographer to me. So for that reason, it would make the cut. But if you are a professional full-time underwater photographer, it's then I give strongest. it a two, yeah. and I think it shouldn't make the web. So. All right. Community says 1.9. They agree with me. All right, so this is number three. Congrats. You win a random free tutorial from fstoppers.com slash store. So I think you're going to be talking about the aquarium. I know. This entire... I know. But, but here's the thing. I don't mind if it's taken in an aquarium, but I just don't want to give extra points to a bad image because I know how hard it is to get if it was not taken in an aquarium. You know what I mean? So looking at this photograph. Shooting through aquarium yeah. glass is pretty tricky <laughs> no, as well. No, it's, it's not. It can be very, no, I've, it's not. Just for me then. <laughs> it's not it's hard. It's bad for me. Um, yeah, we need to go to the Atlanta Aquarium and like get some shots and then sneak them into another critique and see what people say. I've yet to actually go there, even though I live very close to Atlanta for many times. Three, two, one. Two stars, you give it three. I think the color is cool. I think it's a little more abstract. Again, I'm trying to place all these images in a portfolio that's entirely underwater photography. Yeah. And I can imagine what some of the shots hopefully will look like mm -hmm. or what some of the world-class images I've seen look like. Mm -hmm. And I would think that you could mix all those in together. But, you know, if you're just shooting wildlife like this, I think this is still interesting enough to, to put in your portfolio. I would love to know how this was photographed. The lighting on this is confusing to me. It almost seems like it's being backlit, especially these particles on the upper left, which leads me to think that it is at an aquarium and not strobed underwater. Yeah, this almost looks like it has uh, different wavelengths than you would find underwater. Like this doesn't look like yeah. a strobe shot. Yes. This almost looks like it might have halogen lights or black lights yes. or some kind of colored light. Yeah. They do that at the Atlanta Aquarium very well. But it looks cool. It looks... It looks okay. It looks okay. I'm in between a two and a three on this. Community gives it... What is that? 2.8? 2.69. All right. They like it better. Ooh. Do you remember this photo shoot that we featured on F-Stoppers of the guy who took his girlfriend down and they did shots like this for Instagram with like... She was modeling with... The alligator. I don't know. It was a huge that. controversial thing, and everyone <laughs> okay. was like, "He put her, his girlfriend's <laughs> life in danger." This huh. image looks. Very, it reminds me a lot of that. It's like right before she came into the frame. All right, are you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> three, two, one. So I'm in between a two and a three on this one. We reverse. Yeah. Here's the thing. I feel like the gator looks great, and the water doesn't look that good. Yeah. But from a commercial photography standpoint, you know removing this background and adding some other less greeny, grungy background in there, I feel like this image could be fantastic. Now, I'm going against my own rule. I can't give it a three and say that. So I have to give it a two because it needs work before it hits your portfolio. But I just feel like this is a really interesting wide angle view and, and the gator looks oddly sharp and clear to me for how grungy this water looks. That's why I give it a three. I'm trying to figure out if the wide angle 
takes me out of the photo a little bit. Like this looks like it's shot at like 17 millimeters I know, right but, up there. But imagine how bad this would look if they backed up a couple feet and zoomed in. It would look like the most boring underwater shot That's ever. That's true. And I'm, I'm thinking of world-class aquatic images and maybe some of these are slightly above water or you know at the water line. Yeah. A lot of it's all on the lighting. Like they will bring in, especially when you look at National Geographic or Discovery, they will do these photo shoots. You know, you see these pictures of the elephants or the birds and they're like studio shots and like they're unbelievable. And so I would imagine if you had a professional photographer trying to really get a great photo like this, this doesn't feel like you just randomly stumbled across an alligator. Maybe they did. I don't this, know how this, this kind of this kind of feels like you went out and you went to an alligator farm and like you dove with this. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Like, is there any way that this was taken in like an alligator farm type aquarium? But I don't think the gator's mouth would be this close to the glass. So I feel like this photographer or, or at least camera is right there. Oh yeah, I think they're there. I'm not saying they're shooting through plexi. I'm saying. They're there with an underwater housing, but they're probably there to get this shot. Yeah. So if you're going to go that far to take the shot, you do what the crazy guy did, you put your girlfriend in there and you get a shot that the whole internet's gonna yeah. talk about, or you take the extra steps and you somehow light this in a way to or it's where it's eating you can, something or something, you know, something's going on. That's what's going on in most National Geographic photos. They're eating it, but I just think this lighting just looks really bland. It's it's But it looks really good for it's sharp. How bad, how bad the water is. We can move on. It's a two-star image, but I think it's a well done to Wow, 3.3. All right. All right, so we're going a little abstract now. I like it. I like it. I like I'm, the variety. I like when people take what we meant and then just go. They flip it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to guess this was not shot underwater. Like, this was probably set up in, a, in an aquarium. They weren't diving and came Oh, they didn't this. find this in no, nature? No, this didn't happen naturally. Okay. I think I am ready to... I'm in between a two and a three. Really? I, 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 I was leaning more towards like a three, but Brian Rogers has ruined me. Like if you go on Brian Rogers' website, he recently took a picture with black ink in an aquarium and then you put like a liquor bottle or something on the black ink. I, I don't, maybe it's not even a liquor bottle. I don't know, but it's so perfect. And so when I see this, it's cool looking, but I feel like the lighting's a little off. It's kind of got cross lighting. It looks like it's lit from both sides and I wish it was a little bit, they played with the shadows a little bit more. Yeah, I just, I look at this image and I feel like I don't know how they did it, but I think if I were to research this for a day and then I attempted my own shot of this here in our studio, I would get, this would be like within the first 10 shots that I got, mm -hmm. and then I would really refine it to be something even better. And I don't do this at all. So I just, I feel like this feels more like a test shoot. It has these weird highlights. I feel like the red channel is clipping. Mm -hmm. Like it's not, like you said, there's some tonal things going on. It's Interesting in the fact that you don't see this very often, but that's kind of it. If you were to do smoke or if you were to do, what do you think this is? Some kind of ink or some kind of... I just imagine some sort of ink and... If you, were, if you do this on a daily basis or you do this professionally, the images you're going to get are going to be unbelievable. Yeah. This just feels kind of like an experiment that mm -hmm. went fairly well, mm -hmm. but I think this could be refined much more. And then I think it just needs an overall more interesting theme or you know it's kind I of agree. it's kind of abstract but there's just it feels like a test for something bigger so we want to see if that's something bigger you come up with actually it looks kind of cool small 2.7 so they liked it better than both of us ready yep three two one Two stars were pretty consistent. Um, so I feel like the model is is fit, and I like the pose. I feel like the huge Conor McGregor tattoo on her leg kind of pulls me out of. That is so offensive. Is it? I don't know. I totally agree with you, but I know people out there are gonna. I mean, 
the alternative look with tattoos is really in right now. I mean, now. if it was more tattooed, then maybe I would like it, but it just looks like a blob. It looks like a, like a shark right. bit her there, and her flesh is coming She wouldn't off. be cast for whatever shoot you were trying to use this for to get a big job with. Yeah, and then when I just when I look at the rest of the image, it just it looks like a very well done snapshot to me. But I just can't imagine that anyone would get paid for this sort of thing. I just know like all the model mayhem photographers around the world and in Charleston do this picture in their swimming pool. So this is a step up in that it's like in pretty water. Yeah. But like I've they just, might even do it better. They'll have dresses and they'll yeah. do you know. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I feel like just the quality of the photo just looks suspect. Like this is an iPhone and an underwater casing or something. I don't know if that's the edit. I don't know if that's just the highlights and the way this was shot, but it just doesn't feel, it just has too much of a grungy look, you know, to it. It, it doesn't, it doesn't look like a professional photograph. Okay. And the community gives this a 2.37. All right. That's interesting. I think he's sleeping. Do sharks sleep? I don't know how they sleep. Don't they sleep while they swim? I don't know. Gosh, it's like kind of horrifying. I know. Too. I know. That's actually pretty pretty good. All right, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Three stars, we agree. I'm digging this. I mean, something about just the fact that he's straight on the camera and it feels so close. Yeah. And like, it's creeping me out. Yeah, you don't see this perspective often, you know, because most of the time you just see the shark and you're trying to get it and he's far away and mm -hmm. you're just shooting whatever you can get. Mm -hmm. This feels like, and I, I'd love to see what the original crop looked like because maybe this is way off center, but they're still lined up. The camera's still perfectly lined up, but the way this is executed, it just has so much symmetry that... This is a pretty interesting shot. Yeah. And the fact that the shark is so low to the ground is pretty interesting, too. I mean, we've done shark dives before, and we've even done, like, a shark feeding frenzy, but, like, I don't know that any of the sharks were acting like this. So. They may have. There was a lot of sharks. There was a lot of sharks, but this is particularly interesting in its simplicity. So, well done. Yeah. And the community says 2.9, so right on the money. Man, I was just kiteboarding two days ago, and a sea turtle like this popped its head out of the water right in front of me, and I was like, what is that? It was like, its head was huge. Yeah. And then when I went over it, I saw like its whole body and everything. It, just it was exploded. Wild. He just ran him right over. Well, yeah, I cut his head off with my fin, but the, no, he, he, he dove back down. Okay. But it was a cool experience. Is this Mitch McConnell? <laughs> like today on the Senate floor. I guess he's a he's a House of Representatives. All right. I'm All ready. right. Three, two, one. Three stars. Okay, so what makes this a three when some of the others have been twos? So there's a lot going on here with the colors and the composition and the um What's coral, the, the like coral. just the subject matter? Yes, I feel like this is a much more complete image. You, you get the, the nice flash pop as well that's off camera, so it's casting some better looking shadows. You're still getting some natural light on the back of the turtle shell. It, it just, it feels like a more complete image. I don't think you're going to win any awards with this shot, but out of the shots that we've seen so far that I think were actually taken under the water, in the ocean, I think this is my favorite. And this just goes to show why using strobe is so important because without the strobe, I mean, maybe the back of the turtle shell, you can kind of see what the ambient light's probably doing. Yeah, you lose This everything. would just be totally green and you would get no color. So having that strobe there, you know, just allows it to really have the pop and the contrast and have any color because, I mean, what? If you're shooting more than like 10 or 15 feet underwater, maybe even less, mm -hmm. more than five feet underwater, <laughs> you lose all of the color and you really have to resort to strobe, which pictures like the shark might work, but when you see the gator, I feel like the gator was sharp, but like the whole image was just kind of green. Mm -hmm. You know, you lost all the color because of the, uh, the wavelength mm -hmm. being lost in the water. 
So we both give this a three. Um, I, I wish the turtle had a little more energy, a little more expression. Yeah, that might be all he can give. And the community, they 2.5 is their rating. Hmm. Hmm. Now this is interesting because every time I've tried to light a candle underwater, it hasn't panned out too <laughs> That's well. That's so funny. If you didn't mention that, I would have, ne <laughs> I would have never even no? noticed that it had a lit flame. That's funny. Which begs to ask, how was this shot? I'm going to guess... They just added the flame. They just added the flame. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, two stars. This this is kind of what I was talking about, like the model mayhem. Everybody takes pictures in the pool. Um, this lighting is particularly bad. I, I wonder, do you think this was strobe? Like, I don't understand how it's... <laughs> How it's lit from so high above and so harsh as well. There has to be strobe in this. But then she's so red also. It's like, it's like you strobe so you should be able to get a more correct white balance, but the white balance is wrong in the other direction. But then when I look at the pose and I look at the outfit, and it just, it's not a very professional looking shot. Yeah, I'm thinking the strobe, if they did strobe this, has to be above the water, right? Yeah. And so I don't, I mean, I remember days where we would take strobes out and have somebody in the pool. I tried it too. And we were there. I, I, I haven't too. done it enough to be able to definitively say that like a strobe outside the water is going to now diffract and make a soft light or if it would be this hard. This could be, I mean, could this be natural sunlight? I mean, you I see it hitting so. all of the background. I don't think so. Well, and, and the other weird thing is, like, look at the way that it's it's lighting up her hand so bright, but not any other part of her. The sun would never do that. The sun would light her more evenly. But that makes me think that the strobe's really close to her hand, which is confusing me, too. So I don't know how this was lit. Could they have had the overall picture a little overexposed, but in post-production, they just brought down her and failed to bring... Like, a think. professional image, you would think. never see a hand that overly exposed yeah um it's all just so strange like all right let's move on community says 2.2 all right this is moving into the more <clears throat> national geographic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. realm and maybe this was all just totally photoshopped to look like this but it has <laughs> that graphic you know look to it yeah all right Three, two, one. I almost gave this four. Yeah. There's something about it that I really like. It just feels very artistic and it's just like a very simple shot. I imagine that this is Photoshop, you know, that, that they cut them out and put them on black, but it's still interesting. It makes a, it makes a everyday image memorable. Yeah, I'm trying to think what you could do. Like, I don't know. I never would have thought to just put it straight on black. I almost feel like I want some water in there. You want to put it back to the way it was. <laughs> well, no, but like, I don't know. This is this is going into like the fine art realm. So if you're going to take the liberties of cutting them out and putting them on black, maybe just some like moonlit water. I mean, I'm just I'm just making up stuff mm -hmm. like. They could go in any direction. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like it's it's a little it's a little too plain, and it's it's like I want something else. Like I want a little fish attached to them. You know, it's like sucker fish that stick yeah. onto the shark. Like that would make it a little more interesting, or like bubbles coming up from below it, or something else. Because right now it's so plain. That's why I gave it a three and not a four. It's almost like he could have been caught, and he's like dead, and you shot him out of the water. <laughs> I mean, he's been, he's too pristine, but there's, there's very little motion or life to this, which yeah. makes it, it still makes it interesting though. I think this is one of the more interesting photos that we've seen. Yeah. Next up. So we gave this a three. Community says 3.23. I can't remember the photographer's name, but uh, we've, he's been featured on F-Stoppers a few times and he takes pictures of waves mostly from underneath. So, I guess a lot of times the waves are crashing on the camera as well. 
Is it underwater or is he in the actual curve of the wave? Both. I mean, he just kind of does everything. There's a guy in Hawaii that does. I think, I like, think it's him. I think it's him. He is There's a lot of people work. that do this now, though. It's become much more popular. Well, I'm talking about the guy. The guy. Okay. The guy. Um, all right, you ready? Um, I think so. Three, two, one. I'm in between a two and a three. I give it three, you give it two. Yeah, I want to I wanna give this a three. I feel like maybe you could pull more out with like a different color process. This still kind of just has that grungy green look to it. I feel like it looks abnormally clear for it being a maybe I'm not dirty saying ocean. maybe I'm not articulating it well enough. This might look a little more natural, but I kind of want to see it have a process that gives it like a blue okay. and add some color and, and, and just doesn't make the sand look, it looks too natural. It looks too grimy. You okay. Know? Yeah, I can agree. And then there's so much stuff here on the bottom. I don't know. It's definitely... It's like take out all the grains of sand and then... All the dirt. Like and yeah. And then add more fish. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a cool and shot. Make it, make it in the air and not in the water. That would make it if you good. did all of those things, yeah. this would get a higher rating. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the composition? Do you feel like I don't love it? I don't love it, but this is interesting enough. the The fish are what put it over the edge for me and make make it a three. Without the fish, this is a two. two not me. that exciting. Yeah, but uh, you know, I think I think it's okay. Community says two point eight. So they agree with you more than me. Surprise, As surprise. Always. Now, what is going on here? I am so confused. This dog has clearly jumped into the water, but the water has not affected him one bit. What is this? Is this just photoshopped on water? <laughs> I think we are being trolled. Either by David, but <laughs> definitely by this photographer. I don't, I don't know what they're trying to to pretend is happening. Do they want it to seem like the, the dog is swimming? Or, cause to me, it looks like the dog is jumping into the pool, but then <laughs> the pool is like above him in the sky. So. I don't know. I don't know whether to give this a one or a two with our this, rating scale. Yeah, this is like, this feels like an album cover from like an alternative band of the 90s. This is something and it would be like Sublime's record. You know, I don't know. But uh, either uh, way. Three, two, one, two, kind of, because you use Photoshop, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Let's move on. Community says 4.0. Oh, 1. <laughs> 1. Hey, I'm surprised it got 1.8. That's yeah. pretty good. I wonder how many people it actually tricked, you know? And they were like, wow. No, nobody's tricked by that. No. <laughs> I hope not. Hey, that's What's interesting. What's happening here? At first, I thought that was like a Canon lens, and then now I'm like, this is some kind of personal device, you know, to like pull you through the water. I assume. Yeah, one of the fan things. Yeah, that looks Maybe. awesome. Um, okay, I think I'm ready. Three, two, one, three stars. So this is interesting to me, and I feel like. You know, it's obviously Photoshop. It's trying to be, but how do you think they shot this? I mean, that's really happening, or do you think they added all that color? Do you think that's just him launching himself off the, the floor, oh. and it's like there was, or did they have a flare or something in the water to do that? I just assumed that they grabbed some rocket thing and photoshopped it in there i don't know mm, um, i would be interested to know how this was done because i could also <laughs> see this being some kind of like underwater flare that well, they if, set if, at the if, bottom if and this then... was done in camera now i'm even more impressed because now there's like a real story behind it i was thinking the whole time this is totally photoshopped and it's just kind of like this commercial image that could be used to you know sell an emotion or something but if you think this is real it could be. That's I don't. Really I don't know. I mean, there's just like it's super low rise. There's grainy. there's just some details like you can see the fin, and if you just were to place that's true the uh, the smoke or whatever this is an explosion. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be very clever to put the highlight on the fin that way because it seems to bring back detail on the fin. Yeah. 
it almost looks like this really happened. But then I was thinking, well, what if this was just, you know, they added color underneath, like, just a natural plume. Yeah, of... but you're right. Like, I don't think the natural plume would be lit like that. Yeah. So let us know how you did it. Please comment on the that's post a, on Appstoppers. That's a cool photo. This might be one of my favorites so far. Well, okay, does it change for you if it's no. completely fake or totally real? Not really. But, but for but you, it does. Well, you'd be more impressed if it was real. Oh, right? sure, I'd be more impressed. But okay. Community says 3.0. Is this sharp-ish? You think they can recognize their, their mothers and children? We were just in Alaska, and... I don't know if everyone out there knows, but salmon, they swim all the way out to the ocean, live their lives for three or four years, and then they all swim back to the exact point that they were born, like the exact place. I don't know how in the world they know this river and like... Yeah, that's that's crazy. I was born here in Charleston. I don't even know where the house is that I was born. <laughs> that's true. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, two. I was in between two yeah? and three. I like this. It's got like a graphic. I wish... Oh, I don't know how to how this would happen but i wish the blues on the left were throughout the whole frame that's like what I was when it gets say. dark it kind of yes. takes me out of it yes but i really love or i want it all to be dark it kind of it kind of it, it cheapens it to me that there's some the black over there on the right and then the blue on the left it's like i want and then would, as i say that i'm like eh, maybe i like the contrast between the two so i'm not even consistent with my own opinion I don't know. It's Something pretty, about it just doesn't pretty seem cool shot. as good as other photographs I've seen like this of schools of fish. How do you think this was shot? Um, was this shot in real life or is this shot behind I'm a piece of glass? I'm going to imagine just because it's this many fish that this was taken in the wild. Um, Aquariums don't normally have this. I wouldn't imagine number of fish that in many. Them. And I then would. I'm trying to figure out lighting wise. It it seems a little flash poppy to me. So it seems like the flash is above the camera. I'm gonna guess that they were in the bottom of one of those tour boats that you take out and you have like the whole glass and you shoot through. The snuba. Snuba? I don't know if that's what this was shot through, but I, I think you're right. I think this would be too many fish for an aquarium, right? Maybe. You gotta go to Atlanta Aquarium though and see their big aquarium. It's unbelievable. Community says 2.2 .2 needs work. I like it. Damn. Did you see that video I sent your wife of one of these coming up right yes. by and the guys are... Yes. Oh. She was like, it's amazing. I was like, that's horrifying. <laughs> Depending on how cold the water is. If you're in Alaska water where you fall out and you're dead in 20 minutes, yeah, that was horrifying, but impressive nevertheless. I think I'm between two numbers, but. Three, two, one, three, and you give it two. I can see a three, that's, I love the clarity of this. I love the majestic nature of like, you captured this beautiful animal. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I wanna see him at a slightly different angle or see his face or, I mean, their, their face isn't as distinguishable <clears throat> as other mammals, you know, where you have like eyes and it, you're like, they don't have the personality they don't have in their eyes. own in their yeah. own face. This just kind of feels like, you know, it's like when you see the underside of a dog or something, you're like, oh, <laughs> where's the, I want to see the cute okay. part of the dog. Yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying, but the fact that they're getting his arms spread out like this is it's, pretty wild. Um, but I agree, it's kind of, it's kind of a plain shot for how seemingly incredible this capture is. But when I compare this to the boring school of fish that we just rated like i have to give this a higher rating but maybe that's because i still have not gotten to dive with a whale before and i've dived with tons of schools of fish so maybe i am not rating it fairly i don't know i haven't dived with one of these fish these whales either but if i had i still don't know that that would change the way that i view these two images I really like swimming in the schools of fish. Like, that's an incredible experience. Yeah, but, like, maybe 
getting this close to a whale of the, like maybe the, I don't I can't even tell how big this is but I just assume it's huge. I mean when you see the wildlife photographers who shoot above water and the thing is coming out and it's the water spraying and everything. Yeah. I mean I don't know what that would look like underwater when they come back after the breach. You know, they've come under the water what that would look like, but well, I could now imagine you do. Yeah, it just seems like I, yeah, I guess now I I know, but <laughs> I just want to see it from a different angle, but then maybe if you saw the dark side of the, the whale without all the white, maybe it would lose something. I don't know. All right, next up. 3.1. What do I know? Hmm. All right, I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Three stars. I'm going to give this three because... Although, you know, it's not amazing by any means, I feel like the lighting, the pose, and the concept is done well, much better than your average girl in pool shot. So that's why I give it three stars. Like, I don't feel like this is a, a bad image. I disagree. What I like about this image is I do like the black and white conversion. Mm-hmm. And we know several photographers in town and around the country that do underwater photography, and then they do the black and white thing, and that salvages the lack of color, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think it really looks cool, and it makes it look a little more dreamy, and shooting underwater is already a strange experience for most humans, you know, to see that perspective. I just feel like the chair is weird. I agree. The concept is weird. I agree. Her expression is like... I think her expression is pretty good. It's kind of cute, but it's... And her hair is great for underwater. I feel like the uh, the light angle, like, it just looks a little flat. It's like there's no contrast on her arm. I and mean, it it's just... like a direct flash pop from a, you know, underwater housing flash. Yeah, and I just, I don't like direct flash pops. I would say you probably don't either. If this was somehow I, I does not, lit from above and no, it was creating like something, I I think it's working here. I feel like the direct hard light works on her face, especially. Maybe you're right about the arm. Maybe the arm's a little flat and white, but I like the hard light on her face. I don't know. That's like a flattering angle for her. Like her whole body's in this kind of weird behind angle. Right. I don't know. I'm just not. This image isn't really doing anything for me, but I do like that they went black and white. I mm -hmm. feel like that's the first time we've seen this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess besides the shark from above shot, but. What does the community give it? 2.36. 2.3, still needs work. <laughs> Just a seahorse, what is that? Is that, that a cheeto? That looks like a very maybe young seahorse i don't know why it looks so weird it's like a cheeto what's the uh isn't there like a teenage mutant ninja turtle villain who kind of looks like this guy craig he's like a brain no there's one that's oh uh, like bebop maybe bebop i think he's like a, a rhino though this looks like a rhino or is that rock steady i don't uh, know it's been a while i don't know this reminds me of ninja turtle. tmnt yeah all right you ready three two one Two stars, you know, kind of the same critique I have about other ones. Like this could have been taken in a an aquarium very easily. I would imagine it would look much better if it was taken in an aquarium, though. And uh, I just feel like it's not the best looking image. It's got nice like color though because of the strobe Ish. or the lighting. It, you know, it feels like the oranges are kind of clipping to me again. So something about it feels oversaturated. And I, I have yet to see a seahorse while diving. So that's like something I have to do whales and I have to see the seahorse and then I've kind of done it all. If for this me. was the seahorse that you did see, would you feel like your diving has been complete? <laughs> or would you want to see? I'd be bummed out. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm pretty sure that one's dead. He something. died a long time ago. <laughs> He doesn't look well. We uh, People always give me shit on the internet for saying, like, this isn't the model I would have cast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stick to my guns and say I wouldn't have cast that seahorse either. I agree. Unless this is, like, you know, this is the effects of, like, oil spills in, <laughs> in the oceans and you're trying to... Uh, we'll move on. 
Uh, oh, I see the little shark back there right behind him. No. <laughs> what type of shark is that? Or is that, is she half shark? That's like her body. Uh -huh. It's like a mermaid, but with a shark. Okay. So what do you think is going on here? Do you think they're like, that's been photoshopped in there? Do you think they took this picture hoping to get the shark in there? They're swimming with the sharks? Is that a reef shark? I don't know my, enough about sharks. Like the spots, the ones that we saw, with, did they have spots? I don't think they had spots, but every time people see the video of us diving, they're like, oh, those sharks are harmless. So I assume that this is, I assume. maybe this is the last picture taken. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is the beginning of a very bad situation. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I was in between a one and a two, but I leaned towards two just because I feel like there's some interest here. And the composition is interesting as well. I see so much potential for this image. Like, the shark does nothing for me. Like... It almost takes away from the photo, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I, I see this reflection up above and these people diving and everyone's in the life vest. I wanna see like, I could almost see some weird quirky fine art image where it's like 10 people all floating and bobbing and this camera angle is maybe a little wider, mm -hmm. but you see like, it's like a story on life. It's like vacationers, you know, swimming and everybody's got the goggles and the snorkel on and they got the vest. Like there is something that's like, really cool about this. I think it's the reflection up above. She's a little bright on the right. She kind of like pulls me out of it, but oh, I just think like if you were snapping a bunch of pictures, there could be a frame that's really cool. And then now there's like the shark in there that kind of throws me off and I'm like, what is going on here? If the shark's face was coming right at the camera or mm -hmm. like in the background, that would be really interesting. maybe you'd be like, oh, this is like, it would have more viability. It would have mm -hmm. a commercial or editorial use. Mm -hmm. But the way that it is now, it's like, I would love to just see like 20 more frames and maybe maybe this was a happy accident, but this is a good example of just natural light shooting right below the surface in a way that you could come up with some really cool images in a situation like this. Agreed. Community says 1.1 snapshot. I liked it more than they did. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. So. What'd you give it? Two. A two. Mm hmm I really like this. So I think this model and the pose and the styling is fantastic. But the Photoshopping and the lighting and the background is not doing it for me. What do you have? What, what's the problem with the lighting? It's like soft well, now, and now flat. I'm, now I'm understanding what's happening. See, I thought, <laughs> I thought that the bottom down here, and I guess this was taken in a pool. I thought the bottom was the top of the water, and then they had photoshopped her in and made it look like she was standing on the surface of the water, upside down in the no, water. No, the water's clearly on top. <laughs> clearly. Clearly, like. Is this real? I now that I'm looking at this, I like, don't know is if this... this is real, but it's cool. Now I'm very confused. Like, I mean, it looks I'm like I'm looking at it totally differently now. It looks like there's hard light shining through a bunch of stuff that's casting all of the speckled light on the floor, but it seems to affect her very little. Like, she is in this like interesting shade light that's coming from like <clears throat> camera right. That's why I just assumed that this was all. I thought when I first looked at this that this was shot in the studio and then they just photoshopped her in upside down in this underwater scene. Now looking at it and looking at her feet, like is she actually under there? I'm even more impressed that they got the styling on the dress and the hair if this was actually taken. I mean, something about it is is up for debate. Like for one, she couldn't have possibly had a bubble blown. I have to believe that bubble is fake or it's like plastic or... There's, there's no way that happened underwater. I don't know. And then when I look at this reflection on, up top, she is that looks, real? She looks like lit that? differently on the reflection. So, I don't know what's happening. Maybe I'm, this I'm doesn't as qualify as an underwater photo, but... Well, no, it sure does. I, I don't care if you photoshopped it in there. I just don't... It's something about it doesn't feel real at all to me, although it does feel a little bit more real 
now than it did a second I love ago. it. I feel like this could you be like love a... love it. Like a three. Like it's, okay. it's a cool, abstract, artsy No, I love the image. concept. And from a distance, I love it too. But when I really start looking in, it's like, what's going on with this hand on camera right? It's like... What? Like the way the lighting on that hand is, do you think that's real? Something okay, looks I mean, fake. It looks a little weird, but like lighting underwater sometimes does that, you know? It's like something washed out or, I mean, I would dodge <laughs> around the thumb to pull out the hand a little bit more maybe. I mean, this almost looks like an advertisement to me. This looks I like, agree. like candies. You remember the candy shoes? No, but okay. A candy ad for like, I think it's candies. But this just looks like something out of like the 90s or 2000s and it, I really like it. it. It seems like they've gone the extra level to style it. Yeah, they I agree. They cast with a you good there. model. Yeah, I agree. They have the interesting gum blowing with the I dress agree. that fits. I agree. And then even like up above, I mean, there's like a lot of different crops that you can do that I feel like work. You can get rid of the reflection up above or include it. I, I don't know. I really like this image. Well, let's see what the community says. Community says 3.0 right on the money. Hmm. You were wrong, sir. All right. I mean, I understand. Is this why. our final image? Now let's see what this looks like. Does not does not work if you flip it. Why would you flip that? I just wanted to see. Like, I I want to know a lot of times if a photograph has been flipped in post, or was it taken like that? Like, was this guy really swimming? He had down? to have been, because he's going to be lit from above. Well, there you go. And I mean, I don't know how many otters you saw when we were in Alaska. I saw these things all the time. Obviously not underwater, but they're diving and swimming on their backs and like... What animal do you think this is? This is like an otter, like is a that, sea otter. Is that what you think this or is? Or a seal. Like those okay. are both very closely related. Are they? I mean, you think it, it's not a sea... It could be a sea lion. That's also closely related. To, yeah. What do you think this is? I think it's like a seal. I, I mean, a, an otter has like hair and claws and hands. <laughs> <laughs> feet they I mean, can walk on the ground we'll have to look that up <laughs> we don't have to look anything up this is flippers I mean, so it's a seal it's in the seal family it doesn't have hands and a feet sea, a sea otter is kind of in a seal family too maybe I'm no. <laughs> either way alright are you ready Yeah. 3, 2, 1 I'm giving it 3 I could go 3, 2 um I chose two because I feel like the color and the exposure, the composition and the expression and the focus, like mm -hmm. that's all to me pretty solid. Mm -hmm. I just look at this and it's something about the color and the exposure that just makes me feel like it's a little cheaper. This isn't something I'd see published in in a underwater photography magazine or I National think it Geographic. Could be. I think it could be with a little bit more post-processing. I'd like to see a little bit more dodging on the top of his head and his eyes, because I feel like you know they're going really dark. And if you made this black and white, I think that would give you a lot more room to play. You could really yeah. pull out more detail without making it look really crappy. The other thing I'm wondering about is the crop. I'm always, <clears throat> do you like the head space that's at the bottom? No. Do you think it should be cropped a little tighter on the Maybe. bottom? Maybe, like we can't really do it with this image, but I feel like the crop's too tight in the back. Yeah. Some, and maybe if it had some dead space on the left or somewhere, maybe it's yeah, hard to say. Something about it feels a little a little odd with the crop, but not not by a lot, just by like a little bit. But the way that his flipper is one's going up and one's going down, it's like got a really cool composition. Yeah. So I gave this a two, you gave it a three. What is the community gonna say? They're gonna go two. Three. They're gonna go two. 2.6, so you barely I edged win. over. They were the average of the two. All right. All right, that's, that's the last it. image. We made it through the underwater photography critique. And I think these photos were better than I expected. Isn't that weird? Because this is a really hard genre, and yet the images, maybe the people that do this, just, there's, there's fewer of them, and therefore they submitted higher quality. And I think there's... It'd be like if we said, next critique's gonna be space photography. Mm -hmm. So few people do that, That's that the point. ones that take pictures in outer space would be incredible. That's a good point. I think there's a lot of photographers like us who probably dive recreationally. Maybe they've rented or purchased underwater gear. They went to try to do it. 
and then it was total failure and they went. That's, oh my gosh. that's us every time. Yeah, every we've been time. doing it for years and we cannot get a good picture. Anyway, thank you for submitting uh, to this critique. And once again, if you'd like to be a part of the next critique, uh, go to the link in the description. Once again, it is product photography and the incredible Brian Rogers will be critiquing the next show. How harsh is he going to be? Extremely harsh. He's the nicest guy, but man, his level is so high that it, if it, you guys it, think we're brutal on, on this, wait till he starts like looking at something he does every day. Hey, but go to his website, check out Brian Rogers' work. Brian Rogers Jr. is what he likes to be called. His work is flawless. Like, there will not be a single thing that you can say about a single one of his images. Every single one is perfect. So he has the right to be a little harsh. Glad he's not critiquing my work. <laughs> See you next time.